Hi, it's Andy here at Photek Video, and this is part two of my introduction to light painting. If you check out the video, which you can see up here in this link, you'll see the initial introduction to light painting. And in this short video, what I want to do is to show you the opposite. Instead of going behind the subject and moving a light about, I've put a couple of LED lights, one either side of our model, who today is Valeria again. Hi Valeria, thanks for coming. Hi. And I've set these lights, these LED RGB tube lights, one either side of her, and I'm also going to be using the flash at the same power as I was using in part one. But this time, instead of going behind her and moving the lights, I'm going to move the camera after the flash fires. Okay, so let's give this a try and see how it works. Now, at the moment, my camera is on a tripod. To do this, obviously, there are two options. I can either loosen up my tripod and just let it go down like that, or I can move it myself. And I think it's going to be better if I move it myself. So let's take the camera off the tripod very carefully. And let's move that tripod out of the way so that it doesn't get in the way of the shot. So in this one, you're going to have to keep a little bit stiller because we have these lights either side, which are illuminating you the whole time. So if you move in those five seconds, we're going to move, you see your movement as well as mine. I want to get you 100% sharp first with the flash and then make the out of focus light painting uh, with the shutter drag. To do this, we've reduced to a five second shutter speed. Our f-stop continues to be on our maximum, f22, and our ISO on its minimum at 100 ISO. So let's see how this looks. Are we ready then, Valeria? And after three, one, two, three, and... And look at the effect that that has given us. We can see that if we go into the photo, that Valeria is in focus, and then she becomes ethereal from the movement up and down of the camera. Beautiful effect, very dreamy, and as I say, very ethereal. So let's do another one where I move the camera a little bit less, okay? Maybe that was a bit exaggerated because I went up and down. I'm just going to move it very, very slightly. So are we ready, Valeria? After three, if you want to change your pose, you can. And one, two, three, let's go. Okay, so if we look at that photo, we can see that Valeria has literally come out of herself. Eh? She is, first of all, quite sharp. And then as I move down, we can see that there's that motion blur in the photo. So let's do one more. And this time I'm just going to move a tiny fraction, but I'm going to zoom in a bit more as well. Okay, so there we have a different framing. So are we ready, Valeria? Okay, after three, one, two, three, and... Okay, so now what we can see is that because of the small movement, we have Valeria completely in focus, but then we have like this outline all the way around her where that, there is that motion blur. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera a little bit to one side. Instead of up or down, we're going to move to one side. So Valeria, whenever you like, you tell me when you're ready. Okay, so after three, one, two, three, and... And we can see there that what we've done is we've created a movement to one side. Unfortunately, it's made Valeria quite wide and she isn't like that, but it is another effect. Not only can we move the camera up and down or from side to side, but we can also zoom in and zoom out. This is a zoom lens that I have here. 
So at the moment, I'm on its widest angle, which is 20 millimeters, and it can zoom in up to 60 millimeters. Now to do this, so that there's not too much movement as well, I think I am going to need the tripod. So I'm going to put the tripod back in its position very carefully so as not to knock anything else over. So we're going to begin with the zoom out at its 20 millimeters and we're going to move in on the zoom to 60 millimeters during the slow shutter speed of five seconds. So are we ready, Valeria? Yeah, okay, so after three, one, two, three, and... And there we can see that what we've created is another lovely effect where Valeria is in focus. Uh, and as I zoomed in, let's zoom in ourselves as well. You can see that the lights themselves on either side are also zoomed. So we've created panels next to her. And then if we move right in, we can see that, um, I don't know, a space effect it's 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 really quite an interesting effect and to finish off let's just do one more but the opposite so we are zoomed right in and this time we're going to zoom out and we're going to go from 60 millimeters to 20 millimeters now if this is a kit lens it's not going to affect your f-stop because remember uh, in a kit lens it may be like a 3.5 to a 5.6 or or, or 2.8 to uh, 6.3 but we're on f22 so that this is not going to affect our exposure at all okay so when you're ready then let's go we're looking at five seconds remember we're on f22 we're on iso 100 and we're going to zoom from 60 millimeters out to 20 millimeters are you ready then Balea? okay so after three one two three and and there we have the opposite so you can see in this photo that the lights are now showing up as almost white. The reason is because we are zooming in the opposite direction. And if we move into Valeria, we can see that the movement, maybe it's not as attractive as the previous one, but you can certainly see from each of these photos uh, how the different movements in your camera can affect. This one is the 60 to 20 millimeter zooming out. This one is the 20 to 60 millimeters zooming in. This one is the side movement. This one is the slow, is, is the slight down movement. This one is a bit more exaggerated. And this was the first one where we could see that my movement was too exaggerated. So there you have it. Just a quick demonstration of how we can use a long exposure. In this case, remember it was five seconds on F22 at 100 ISO. Your lenses may allow you an even greater f-stop number. If they do, well, fantastic. But remember, the greater your f-stop number, the brighter your ambient lights need to be. And just by moving the camera a little bit up or down, side to side, or zooming in or zooming out, it changes the look completely and makes something very creative and very attractive. So all that remains for me to say is thanks again to Valeria for being with us today. Absolute superstar, Valeria. Please check out her Instagram account here, which you can see on the screen. If you liked this video and found it interesting, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring on that notification bell to be notified every time a new video drops on my channel. Until the next time, this is Andy at Photek Video signing off. Take care and be safe.